So recently I've been going to town a lot more and I'll get into why in just a second, but I've been going into more charity shops. I've been going into CEX a lot more frequently and various other places as well. And today I went somewhere that I never really go looking for video games and I managed to find three. It's a shame they didn't have more, but we'll touch on that in just a second. So why am I going into charity shops more often? Recently I decided I wanna implement more walking into my life. Besides running, I don't really walk an awful lot. So I've been forcing myself almost to walk to town every single day pick up a coffee in McDonald's it's a black coffee so there's like six calories in it and while I'm there I might as well look around the charity shops well the charity shops in my town are hit and miss some of them can be very very good and at other times you can find absolutely nothing for weeks on end and it's gonna be a little bit contradictory this video because I'm gonna bash charity shops but then I'm gonna say hey look what I found so yeah take it with a pinch of salt you can go into a charity shop at 12 o'clock in the afternoon and find absolutely nothing and as you're walking out someone else else can walk in and they can find something. Why? Well, maybe someone has just brought something out from the back. A member of staff, for example, has just dragged the box out as you're leaving full of video games. And there it is. That guy behind you is going to get the deal. There could also be something non-video game related there, of course, that you've not really looked at. Maybe it's a pair of trainers, a football shirt, a music CD that could be worth money and you're not really up on that sort of thing. You haven't really looked. There are many reasons why other people will find things in charity shops that you won't. And that brings me on to my most recent pickup. Now, unfortunately, I didn't film this because I just popped in on a whim and I found a box of, I say a box, it was like a basket by the front door of this one charity shop full of sealed box sets. Now, I still have a couple of them and they are buried behind me, so I won't show you, but one of them is like a primeval box set. The other one was Smallville, I think. And then there was one that I've sold and this was an unbelievably good deal. It was five pounds, brand new and sealed. I think it was called Moonlighting, the series with Bruce Willis complete series one to five back before he started doing like action films he was a romantic comedy kind of guy and this series kind of broke ground in a few places especially with their last series where they started acknowledging the camera in the very first episode which they'd never done before no sitcom had done that before anyway you don't care I picked it up for a fiver and I sold it like two days later on Vinted for 140 pounds I have the money the sale is complete it's done it's dusted and there's no chance of any like refunds or anything so that is a completed sale. What an unbelievable find. £135 in profit because of course we don't pay any fees through Vinted. The customer pays the fees. Now that is a once in a blue moon event. You will not walk into a charity shop once a week and find something of that quality that is worth that amount of money. But it just goes to show that you need to look at everything. You need to scan through everything and pay attention to maybe things that you don't necessarily care about and you will eventually find profit. Now unfortunately the rest of the charity shops I looked through and have looked through over the course of the week. There have been uh, some games dotted around the place, but they're just a little bit too on the pricey side or not in very good condition. So I've decided to leave them. Why I'm going to contradict myself now though, is because I'm going to complain about prices in charity shops. I've just bought a box set for a fiver and made over a hundred pound profit, but now I'm going to complain. The thing that frustrates me, and we've all been through it, and I've talked about it before. Now, one of my local charity shops, which I won't mention, maybe Maybe you'll find the name in the video somewhere, but they don't change their prices. They will stick £30 on a Wii, no controllers, missing uh, a power cable or whatever, stick it in a basket, 30 quid, and it will stay there until someone either buys it or steals it. It's just that simple. They don't reduce the price of these things. And the same Wiis have been on the same shelves for I don't even know how long at this point. I show you in nearly every video. Outside, the reason I'm complaining, they're not taking any more donations. They have a sign that says, is not taking donations as we're full or something of that effect and this charity shop in particular has this sign outside nine times out of ten I just thought it was funny that I went in there it's all exactly the same stock at exactly the same price it, the charity shop is always full but I never see anyone buy anything except maybe a book every now and again and yet they don't alter their prices and they've had to stop taking donations then I went to game and a really confusing situation so I love game uh, but unfortunately Unfortunately, they've pigeonholed them all into Sports Direct and they don't get that much stock anymore because obviously I'm looking for pre-owned. They do have some good like new sales every now and again and I often get people who work in game messaging me saying, hey look, 
this is now on sale, this is a new game, this is for sale, blah, blah, blah. And I'm grateful to everyone who reaches out and lets me know of these things. I just can't get to a game that often, so by the time I get there, those deals are gone. So I kind of rely on three for two and pre-owned, which I'm more than happy with so long as the selection is there. Now, in this particular game, I can't remember which one it was. I think it might have been Cardiff. It wasn't terrible. There were some decent games there. American Fugitive is one that I want on the Switch. Unfortunately, $14.99, even in a three for two, isn't quite quite the price range I'm looking for because I think it's a cheaper game. I do have it on the PS4, I just want it on the Switch. Either way, I'm flicking through, flicking through, I'm about to leave because I haven't found anything, and then I spot MotoGP21. Now I'm full of useless random information about certain things, and this just so happens to be one of those situations. In my mind, when I first saw that, I thought that didn't have a physical release. And maybe I'm not 100% correct on it, but I'm pretty sure, even now still, it didn't have a physical release. It only had a digital. And yes, I was correct on that occasion because the box was a digital-only box. You know, it had a code inside. But this was a second-hand item that they were selling in a three for two. It was a Saturday and it was quite busy and I didn't want to go up there and be that guy to just point it out for the sake of pointing it out. But it was really confusing to me. Why was this priced up second-hand? Why why had it been opened? I, I didn't really know. I didn't understand the situation. So if you work in game and this is something that is perfectly normal and there is a rational explanation behind it, let me know. But otherwise, I genuinely don't know the situation here. I think someone has made a mistake somewhere. I just can't for the life of me work out what mistake it could possibly have been. Regardless, I left empty handed, which is a shame, but I will visit game again shortly. Have you been to game recently and they've had a sale on or maybe you found like a new release that's a pretty good deal? Let me know in the comments. Today I decided to take my morning walk and I walked into town, I had some parcels to drop off and then I thought I'll have a look around charity shops, found a couple of things uh, for myself and to resell and things but nothing video game related and I'm about to leave and I'm thinking no I need to pop to Asda because I need something. I was looking for egg whites okay. Anyway I'm in Asda, have a little look at the video games because I thought well I might as well while I'm here. No other supermarket market incidentally near me especially sell video games as there is the only one and I have nearly every single supermarket near me so I walk in have a little look, little look around and I spot some things on sale here or there some good prices actually on the new Sonic game on the switch and I found three things they were well I actually found four there were four games priced up at £5 each. The first of which was Battlefield 2042, which I actually want to get just to play through the single player campaign, but they only had it on the Xbox um, Series X, which obviously I don't have, so I can't play it. So, And I think it's a cheap enough game anyway, so I left it there. But they had three other games for a fiver, which I know full well are worth more than the £5. So I picked them up and I took them to, well, I didn't know where to take them, incidentally, because it, back in my day, they had a media counter. Now it says on the case, just take them to a till. I walked over to the till and I was like, do I, can I take these anywhere? She was like, yeah, yeah, no worries. I went, it was like a self-service till. She gave it to a member of staff who just trotted off to go and get them. And I was fully expecting her to come back and say, sorry, we don't have any left. I have recently seen a few videos where Asda was selling off some Switch controllers for like five pound and they retail around 25. So I was kind of hoping that I'd managed to, to catch it, but I was under the impression that she was going to come back and say, we don't have them. But anyway, she came back and I said, Sorry to be cheeky, do you have any more of these? She went, no, sorry, those are the last three. So I was a little bit disappointed, but I've still managed to pick up what I think anyway are some pretty good deals. So some footage that I did take was me walking out of the store with these in hand with the receipt as well. Managed to pick up all three of these for £15, which is an absolute banger. Uh, we do already have uh, Riders Republic in the collection. I actually paid more than what I've paid in Asda for this. So this one is sealed. So I'm going to sell this because I've already got it on the PS5. If I can get a tenner for it, then I've paid for this and I've paid for one of the other games. And then, of course, we have Far Cry 6 on the PS4 and Far Cry 6 on the PS5. I don't have these. I've been tempted to buy this many a time because it's not an expensive game. I think maybe it was bundled in with a PlayStation 5 deal at some point, and that's why it's so cheap, possibly. But that will be the one I keep because it's the PS5 version. And that will be the one I sell. And here is yet another look at that and another look at the receipt just in case you need any more confirmation. Uh, £5 each, £15 in total, not 
bad at all. Now with that being said, the old me may have done this, but the new me is not going to. I could take uh, all of these games straight to CEX, trade them in and get more than I've paid in uh, trade credit. So this trades in for £10, they sell it for 15 I think this only trades in for 6 but they, they maybe sell it for 12 possibly. And I think this maybe trades for 7 or £8. Either way, every single one of them trades in for more than I bought them for. So I could have made some decent trade profit there 15 into 20 30 whatever it was i was a little bit gutted that they didn't have more because i would have bought more of the which one i think i would have got this one if they had more of those i would have just bought as many of they as they had uh, and then i would have taken maybe some to trade some to sell maybe made my money back and then got some free credit in cex but either way get down to Asda. If you've managed to go to a retailer uh, recently and picked up anything on sale, a game maybe specifically, but even Asda, if you've gone in there and found maybe different games, let me know where you picked up for a fiver. That's going to do it for me today. If you want to check out another video, you can click here. And until the next time, goodbye.